go up against that glue for a little bit. I think that might open things up, but for how long, I'm not entirely sure. Well, let's take a look at the both of these drafts here, Wolf. I want to see your predictions. I want to see who you think is better. I always feel that farming kind of heroes, specifically the Aldous, will not have a good time against the Natalia. And this was not the first time that Natalia was picked up against the Aldous. Onik already won against Arceus Aldous. Yes. It really makes it so difficult to farm with this Natalia. Speaking. That tech pick glue coming out from Onyx PH just makes total sense here. He's gonna control maybe the Roger or this glue, and then eventually there's nothing that they can do when it comes to the team fights. I'm scared for BTK, but they do have good scaling. Well, let's see. It's all gonna come down to execution. Game number two into the land of dawn. Ladies and gentlemen, Onyx and BTK taking it up once more as White Chicken has just been zoned completely. Look at how Mark is playing this. So, so annoying, but Natalia is already gonna look for a die. Boloyski is gonna go in, execute is ready. They oh. might do it. They are taking it up. Oh, Hatred, he's coming in with a flicker as well. It's gonna be the first blood go into the hands of Onyx PH, but that was two battle spells used. Honestly, not gonna matter much because yeah. it is on a very short yeah. cooldown. Yeah, but most importantly, I think Marky just played that level one is extremely yes. well. Did he steal it? Yes. No. Did what? He? he did, he yeah, did. he's he level three to level two. Oh my god, Boloyski once again. We again, like like you mentioned, RRQ, they did the same thing, bringing the Aldous up in the Natalia game. And it's not looking good for White Chicken right now. Bullied under the turret. It's so difficult. They they only denied one gold uh, Siege minion though, so at least um, Fire Chicken will have something going on, but that death is very crucial. And Onyx PH are going to be playing so aggressively with this Natalia as well as this Hatred. You know, the, si the, the assassin type of, uh, of Cho that we can see from Hatred. Oh, but Hatred though, going very aggressively onto Zia. Shark going with the stun. It is going to be both of the mid leaders fading away. Oh, Kyrie now no. and Boba Zane going in. The Tempest of Blades is still ready, up and ready, going in. Able to dodge away the fine sword all the way to the back line. It's gonna keep on jumping in, but it's gonna be Hatred going in for the Jikundo. Unable to connect. Shark will be able to disengage for Moba Zane. Good peel for BTK. Very good defense overall. Beloitsky even using his execute. They were not able to secure it. And now Turtle is going to be up with one important battle spell down, and I don't think they have enough time. Hatred still has about 36 more seconds until his flipping comes back up if he wants to make a sick play. Yep. The fact is though, Onyx PH shut down the initial rotation from uh, Moba Zane. He really loves to go from the orange buff into the camera into the opposing scaled lizard. That is ha has been his like standard rotation when it comes to jung jungling and Onyx PH really stopped him in, in his tracks, which means that Kyrie will have a, a level ahead of this turtle fight. I like how Dlarski is playing this. Uh, again, <laughs> he's just coming in, taking the turtle oh. aggro and resetting it for the team so that BTK can't have pressure on it. But God. now, look at the upside. Kyrie jumping with the Divine Sword, forcing that flicker from Fight Chicken. And that is all, man. BTK trying to look for a trade on the other side of the map, though. Let's see how this goes. Dlarski is still there. No follow up. It's just him. He's going to let it go. BTK picking up the Red first turtle of the, the game. Turtle. Passion made possible by the Singapore Tourism Board. That's so smart coming in for Auto Cage. Dlarski walks up in towards the turtle side pulls aggro to himself. The moment he sees Shark, the rest of Onyx oh. immediately jump on Aldeus. Yeah, BTK, they're looking for a collapse here. Kyrie needs to be careful. Stun comes in. Zia goes over the Yang Overturn. It's going to be instantly dodged away by the Tempest of Blades now. Kyrie still will be able to run. Boloyski is going to be caught up. Moba Zane dealing some damage. It is going to all connect. Let's see if he get, can get away. Yes, the answer will just be answered instantly. Okay, so in Onyx page, interesting trade for them. Instead of trading the, taking the turtle, the turret, um, exchange for the turtle. They actually went for jungle creeps in exchange for the turtle. That's why Kyrie is at uh, 1.9k while Moba Zane is just 1.7k. So they cannot get a lead. Oh. But they want to really focus on White Chicken this time. Yeah, it's going to be really hard for White Chicken, especially if Onyx PH decides to freeze this way. But no, they understand that BTK are looking for a dive. They won't be looking for a greedy play for now. Onyx PH still on top with 1,000. Speaking of which, the buffs are going to be coming back in a little bit here with 55 seconds on that turtle clock. Mm -hmm. So far, I think Onyx has been doing a really good job punishing White Chicken and yep. not only utilizing their four members, but also Dolarski to kind of pull aggro to himself and also as a um, overall scout for the team. The moment, the most important person Person you need to keep in mind for the side of Onyx PH is going to be Shark. The moment Shark appears yep. on the map, Onyx PH will make the move. I love, love the fact that, they're, that Onyx PH is actually respecting BTK so much to the point where even when they're leading by a lot in the early stages, they already have shut down Mobazane. They didn't really run through and 
They're respecting the strength of BTK in the early stages because of the fact that this is still a Roger. The Kagura still can uh, take down heroes in combination with a Lolita. That still is a lot of kill threat on the side of BTK, this, uh, regardless of the farm. Eight seconds left until the turtle, the second turtle of the game will spawn in this game. And it is going to be the contest, most probably, for both of the teams. This is going to be a crucial team fight here. Let's see. Oloiski, he's looking for the steal. Let's see if he can do this. Moba Zane already on it. Hatred going in. Jiku doing the way. Dragon! Oh. Look at the chain right there. And oh. Moba Zane gets picked off. What was that? Onik, Philippines, so clean with this. But on the other side, Kyrie will be able to pick up the turtle. Go win another victor. Tempest of Blaze has been used to find sword back and forth. Victor trying his desperate way to run away, but it's going to be Kyrie using the mobility of this hero to come in clutch. Dilarski brings Victor back, and that's going to be Kyrie going in. Hatred picks up the kill. So clean, so very clean coming in from Onik PH, layering their CC perfectly, calling good rotation, and now even a punish on the oh, fight chicken. Oh, this is going to be so disgusting, but Moba Zane has come through. Fried Chicken going in after Bloiski. It's going to be oh, the no. Esprit able to get some damage on the way. Fried Chicken dies, but on for a trade. Moba Zane gets one for one. Oh my god, trades all over, and you blink, and you lose control. BTK, they can't show any sign of weakness to Onyx PH, as well as the trading, because Onyx PH is very good at multitasking. They have the better uh, trade. Imagine this, Baloyski, the roam from Onyx PH, yeah. position 5 in exchange for the gold of white chicken, and you'll take the trade any time of the day. To think about it, if you think about it, Marky actually stole this orange buff away from Moba Zane, and they're already taking down the juggler and the gold lane of BTK. Oh my goodness, it's it's a t it's gonna be a rough one. BTK have to play for the ultra late game because right now Fly Chicken is so far behind and he continues to get punished here. I think at this point he needs to hold on to his ultimate in case uh, somebody gets attacked to make sure they can punish Maloyski like they did on top side. This is the the classic banana split coming in for the uh, for the side of Onyx PH man. Look at how the the way they're able mm -hmm. to use and utilize this Ling and the Natalia. They're going for picks all across the board. BTK can't answer because of the zoning provided by Delarski and now Kyrie. We'll be able to pick up that turret. We'll go away with the pitch boys. That is not going to be Fight Chicken connecting onto that, man. There is no way. Not even breaking a sweat, Kyrie just really, literally just focused on the turret. They didn't even mind Victor if they're charging the ult. I mean, uh, charging the second skill, but. On PH, now they have lead 3.8, they have a 3.8k lead, and this is scary as Baloyski will spot this out. Oh, Marky is caught in a bad situation. Yeah. Baloyski will go for engage and look at Hatred going in for the Jikun. No way, the dragon combo is gonna be him taken down. Kyrie now on the backside, getting stunned up. Victor gets in a huge falling star moon on the two members. Temple of the Blades has been used. It's gonna be Kyrie getting out, and that is a one for one. But again, like you mentioned, oh, oh Kyrie, what was that? What was he keeps on going in, but the jungler traded for the roamer. Oh. Incoming mid lane push now for Arctic PH. Oh. Again, lose one on their heroes, and then the map will just be taken destroyed. over. And Hatred happy to tag some damage as Onyx PH now have extended their lead to 4.3k. Mm, is this too greedy though? I mean, Hatred's not going to be here for this upcoming turtle mm -hmm. fight unless he cancels right now. But you, uh, you can tell with Kyrie and Marky, they have more than enough damage yep. to take this out fast. And even Red BTK don't want to destroyed. contest for oh, no. it. But no. Oh. Did he steal it? No. What was it? He no. caught his purple. Oh. Thank goodness. That's scary. That's scary. Because if you're looking at Kyrie, before that, that purple buff, he was uh, two levels ahead of Moba Zane, which meant that the retribution would be much better. But Kyrie already used the retribution onto the turtle. Yeah, insane, insane plays by Onyx PH macro wise to be able to control the game like this. I mean, this is classic Onyx, but it's just so beautiful to watch. It is beautiful to watch. And Blade of Despair on top of the Heptasis for this mid lane Cho with the high and dry. I'm really scared for even the Roger as well as the Aljus will be. Might be one combo, one shot. Yeah, let's see right here in the top side. The Larsky going on to Fight Chicken will take a lot of HP away from him. But let's talk about the scaling for Fight Chicken. This is not good whatsoever. Nope. 4,000 gold lead. I mean, 4,000 gold in eight minutes. Yeah, he's, he's struggling. At this actually two, almost 2k below hatred. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this is so this is so disgusting. Yeah, Fight Chicken, oh. he reads it. He sees the freeze up on that top side and now wants to punish below. Oh no, uh, is he gonna commit? No, no. he's not gonna commit. That's good decision making overall. But here's the thing. With Roger and as well as the Eldest, there's a lot of comeback ability into this game. Yeah, I agree. For Moba Zane, as long as they're below 50% HP, they are within his kill range. For yep. Fight Chicken, if he gets enough stacks, then it should be no problem. Will he one-shot someone? Probably not. He probably will need two punches, but that's when Moba Zane needs to come in for the cleanup. 
Oh, Fire Chicken needs to be careful. It's gonna be Boyzki jumping in, and that's gonna be the kill picked up once again. Executed in under the turret. Mobazay now taking a half HP, more than half actually, as they will just use the conceal defensively. But they might be looking for the pick. No, it is the banana split. This time, not just two lanes, three lanes. God. In a snap, they get a turret up top. They get the inhibitor down bottom to 50% HP. And now Marky has got the Holy Crystal that is gonna hit hard. Baloyski, I hope that we get to see like how much of the dire hit has already been propped by Baloyski. But you can imagine that because of that change to the Rome boots, you now have a legitimate threat as this uh, Natalia is one shotting people even in the late game. Let's see, Dolorsky is just such, being such a nuisance. On the Uranus, on the glue, it doesn't really matter, but the distraction is all that matters here. BTK distracted the top side. Lord will be taken, and that is going to be Onyx PH pushing their lead up until a 7.5 thousand gold lead. Oh, this is, this is starting to get close to checkmate here. They've already got check on BTK. If they can crack open an inhibitor, it's going to be a significant advantage. But BTK, they know how to staunch their bleeding now. Mm -hmm. They didn't make the same mistakes as the last time, and now are being a lot more cautious about their moves. Vision, my goodness. Onyx Page just, just has got the, the superior vision right now against BTK. And BTK, if you're looking at the, just their heroes, they're grouping up together, and this is the only thing that they can do. Maybe they oh, can get a punish, though. Kyrie, that's a mistake right there, but the Temple Blades will be popped. It's gonna be Kyrie in a 1v5, still able to get out, and now Onyx Page looking for the re-engage. Boloyski already in the front with the Larsky jumping onto Victor. That might be a mistake here, because nope, it's not, because they will get the split again and again. Again, beautiful oh, macro plays on display. This is disgusting at this point. I mean, your BTK, you commit some of your skills onto one hero, then eventually the link gets out of there. You have a Cho as well. So many other split pushing heroes that Onyx Philippines were able to get. And they only need Baloyski and Dilar to just take the attention of BTK. Oh, White Chicken, do you really want to take this? Yup, instantly backing away. Kyrie jashing completely, just distracting the enemy team. That now getting overturned, actually able to connect onto the backside. It's going to be Roger picking up a kill. This might be the comeback potential for BTK. This is a mistake. Kyrie jumps forward, backwards, and now gets the kill onto Victor. But it is going to be a two for one right now. Oh, was it still going for something? It's going to be the oh. way Dragon Pop. There's going to be a lot of baits coming in. On a PH, still able to get out of Moba Zane's crosshairs. Ooh. Wow. Oh, crazy. That is so close. But that is BTK. That is some sort of celebration for BTK for sure. They, were traded, they traded for two for one, one XP laner to another, and then the bonus onto Baloyski. Also, they kept their turret in check. So Onyx Philippines actually overextended in that kind of that specific skirmish. They still have a massive lead over BTK, but they can't keep on doing that because again, this is the Aldus. And you see Aldus as we get near into the late game, he's gonna be stronger. Still a long way to go though. Yeah, honestly, I think it was a really good choice for BTK to actually go for a 50-50 there. They mm -hmm. ended up trading upwards, which is great, but they yep. had to expand literally all of their battle spells to do so, which is good because now that the Lord is gone, by the time the next Lord, which is going yep. to be the neutral objective they're gonna contest for, their battle spells will be up just in time. So right. I, I honestly wish more teams would make decisions like how BTK yep. threw for the desperate play. Yep. Don't play too to not lose, play to win. And I think that's BTK in a heads up play. Absolutely uh, well put, Mr. Gideon. As Maloyski looking for a target. Can we finally see an all out fight here? Nope. It's just going to be BTK zoned away. Marky popping in there for the airstrike. Just, just to, you know, just zone mm -hmm. them away even more. But yeah, BTK, they have no control of the map right now. Two yep. inhibitor turrets down. Look at how Onyx PH are maneuvering, manipulating these waves. They're taking the purple buff away from the Roger. But that is not just about taking it away from the Roger. This is all. This can also mean that the purple buff of Onyx Philippines in their side of the jungle might be given to the Farsa, which is going to be great for Marky for giving more damage and more uptime during the siege that Onyx Page wants to have. Oh, Moba Zane going aggressively now. They need this orange buff on Moba Zane. That is a huge buff for this marksman. We'll be able to get it with that retribution. But all over the map, it has just been controlled by Onyx PH. They're waiting for the fight. 30 seconds for the Lord. At this point, what can BTK really do? I think at this point, uh, it's tough to say. BTK has two options. Either they walk out of their base and look to try and team fight against Onyx PH, who most probably mm. will have priority over Lord, or they sacrifice their last two inhibitors to look for a desperate fight against Onyx PH to try to come back into this game. One or the other. The third option, which is very highly unlikely, but if it works out, it will be one of the biggest places if Mobazane is able to steal, or somebody from the side of BTK is able to steal away the Lord. 
Seems unlikely considering that they have so much zone and CC, man, with yeah. Voloisky as well. Look at that. They're getting split up on the map, and that's going to be Onik picking up the pace, oh. going for the Lord. Fight Chicken up using that ultimate, trying to get some vision on the map. But again, it is Onik Philippines it's controlling it. And look at how they're doing this. Free Lucky Lord to the hands Lord. of Onik PH. Kyrie now looking for a fight. Let's see what can what he can do. It's going to be, oh, Mobozain caught in the midst of it all. It's going to be him taken down very, very low. Voloisky jumping onto it, seven the blades as well. Mobozain still able to kite away, but it's going to be him Take it very low. Still going onto the Lycan Pounce. The Larsky looking for the pickoff, but the, he might be the one caught off here. Nope. Both of the teams trade no kills, but again, Onik PH with the Lord. Yeah, the disparity between the economy of both teams is really showed in that matches. They really are going for Dilarski already. They're taking, uh, Dilarski is really staying on top of them for quite a long time, but they weren't able to take it. One great play from Onyx PH. I don't know if it was intended though, as Kyrie already used the Retribution. It wasn't enough to take out the purple, but they gave it to Marquis. I don't know if it was intended, but that looks so sick coming out from Onyx, as now both of the purple buffs belong to two cores of Onyx PH. Well, that's, I, personally, I don't think that's not too big of a deal, especially for Mobuzain. It's mm -hmm. better for him to have that the extra bit of slow oh. chase is good, but here we go. It's going to be the final, potential final push here with Lord. Yeah, Kyrie going in on to the turret. The Lord is in the bottom side. They need to go and manipulate these waves properly. If not, BTK, they might be able to defend this once more. Yeah, it's looking like that right now, but Fight Chicken all the way to the back side. He's not going to connect it. Marquis is waiting in the back. It is going to be the Lord taken down, but what, what cost? It's going to be mid lane. Numenon Blast being Oh! He catches Kyrie, and that's going to be him. Popping in time of the blades now. Going in back and forth all the way to the back side. Still able to zone these members, but all they need to do is exactly that. Zoning those BTK members backwards. Get Getting the turrets and backing away. Wow. What a great discipline from Onyx PH. For a second there, I thought that they will try to dive, but they didn't. They actually went in for that uh, for those uh, for those inhibitors, and now they have taken it all, extending their lead to 11,000, and they kept themselves uh, composed during that ultimate coming up from Shark. Again, Shark is just really phenomenal with this hero, and all throughout the tournament, throughout the M3 World Championship, he has been stepping up, but it will not be enough as BTK needs more part today. Absolutely here, but now, like as we've seen before, BTK, as I mentioned, in the options they had for this upcoming Lord, they decided to sacrifice all their inhibitor turrets. They managed to actually get a couple of kills and survive. The important thing here is to survive, but mm -hmm. if you're looking at the items, BTK is lacking that magic defense. Right now, only yep. Chicken, um, Fight Chicken is the one with the Athena shield. I'm expecting it to see out of Victor, most importantly, yeah. but I think he's going to greet out and go for the Oracle instead. Yeah. At this point, you see the damage from Mark is already threatening. Already has got all of his items up. Maybe he can switch up the boots, but obviously at this point, he can really just deal so much damage against BTK. That's why I understand you, Gideon. I want to see some Athena shield onto the important heroes of BTK, like the Roger. Oh, it's going to be Zia picked up off the board. Just nothing that they can do right now. As Kyrie jumps into the midst of it all, pops the temple of the place now with the backup coming in from Onyx. East 4 from Onyx. Philippines, they're going to go. Shark picks up. White Chicken jumping onto Marky. No damage just yet. The Larsky able to peel out. Way, way of the dragon. Kill is being picked up by Kyrie. Victor jumps in with the point. Simon on the four members. But the Larsky once again, he's going to be able to dive. He's going to be able to pick up the kills. The kill is being picked up. What was he in the 1v4? What can he do? He can't too much. That's the answer on the Philippines now. Look at them. The dominance reign as they take match points from BTK. GG. Well played. Onyx PH. They are coming in strong over there, but BTK, the team play is looking good, but it's just not enough against this overwhelming macro play. So refined, so clean, so sharp. And BTK went in for the Gambit, going for the Algis pick after the fact that there's already Farsa as well as the Joy. Then the League just literally played so well this game, was so comfortable. He's actually uh, always at the knife's edge against BTK, but he still gets out in time. And I'm pretty sure Mirko is impressed about that Ling play. Damn, that Ling was insane. The fact that he didn't use the Tempest of Blaze, didn't use those Finch Poise, those basically the yeah. utilities, the abilities to fight. He yeah. used it to get away. He exactly. used it to bait. He used it to go exactly. for turrets. And that meant that BTK had to always commit. I really love the play that Onyx Page did up top, where they were sacrificing their health, their health, and they juggled through the gold lane outer turret energy shields at minute two to take down Fight Chicken. That's amazing.